Final one then, Niall, just from your, your, your former um, hat within the FAI, the revised accounts for 2019 were um, announced yesterday and grim reading, not exactly surprising, um, a €5 million Euro loss and a €70 million Euro debt. Yeah, five million worse than a lot of people probably thought last Christmas. And really what it just points out is that absolutely action had to be taken. And, uh, you know, s some criticism uh, came in at the time for those who were brought in to, 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 to bring in and, and get that change in place. But I think everyone realises now it had to happen and that the game can move on. It's, it's as if now that's the end of, of the bad news about how the FAI used to be run. There's a new man in place now who hasn't moved over yet, but uh, Jonathan Hill, but he'll be over shortly. And it really feels like it's a chance to put it all behind and move forward. I think that's the, that's the key message, I think, from the accounts. I think if you read Roy Barrett's... Uh, it's a hell of, hell of a job on his hands. Oh, you know, incredible it, it, stuff, yeah. Especially given the current situation, the COVID situation, and I guess the 2020 accounts are going to be particularly ugly given that. Yeah, absolutely. But I think the, the, the good thing, I suppose, is that government now trust how the game is run. So that's a big help in terms of, of what we uh, can achieve there. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, as you say. I think, uh, you know, the League of Ireland, I mean, never was it more important now to protect the League of Ireland and make sure that that's, uh, the, the, I suppose, the, the quest for our young players. If we can't go to England before 18, as it looks very likely the Brexit now, situation. Yeah, that, that the National League clubs now that feed into the League of Ireland, they're going to become very, very... Uh, important academies and I just I'd love the government to actually open up a, a conversation with football to say and, and, and with all the people interested in football to say okay now we have to react to Brexit in a positive way how do we get the, the, the platform in place so that our players who were heading off at 15, 16, 17 to England now can we get them there with 18 with an education and with really good solid training so that all our coaches who get our badges who get we get Pro license, we got all kinds of really good coaches in this country. We've got to create work for them. Have an, yeah. an option for those young players who may not be able to go to England Correct. anymore. Um, 